Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. I have a quick review on this small Burberry bag that I purchased several years ago in Las Vegas, Nevada. I live in California. And um, so after I purchased this bag, a bubble developed. See it there? And um, I contacted Burberry. They told me that I had to send it in um, by going back to the re retail store and giving it to them and then they send it off to their repair shop and see what they could do. Unfortunately, I, like I said, I live four hours away. I didn't have the opportunity to take this bag in until several years later. Now, most stores, uh, handbag brands will have some type of warranty or guarantee, um, an exchange pro program, a repair program, something. I don't know exactly the details of Burberry within the first year of purchasing the bag. Unfortunately, I had to send it in years later. Um, I was hopeful that they were gonna be able to repair it or do something for me. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. Um, I took it in to a Burberry store. The manager said that she would reach out to me within a week um, and then I would get you know, some type of call telling me what, what they could do for me. It, two and a half weeks later, I have not received a call. I called them. They, um, I, I talked to the same person actually that I gave the bag to. She did remember me, and um, but she was rude. She was so rude. She basically told me over the phone. So you're calling to get status on your bag, didn't you? Didn't we call you and tell you what was going on? And are you calling to? know when you're gonna get your bag back and I was like no I did not get a call I'm calling you to find out if you could do something for me what was the outcome uh, she says well let me look at my notes and she says well it doesn't say anything all I know is that the bag is coming back and we'll give you a call when it's here and then I'll let you know what happened I'm like wow like you don't even know what's going on your notes are jumbled I, you know, I, I kind of feel like, like they did nothing. Like they kept it there, lied to me, saying that they sent it off, forgot, and then I get a call like seriously two days after I called them about my bag and they tell me, oh yeah, we got it back. They couldn't do anything and we'll send it to you. It was express mail to me. I got it literally like another two days later or something something like that and in its original condition they could they did nothing they did nothing anyway it frustrated me because you know these things are not cheap but anyway I got the bag back thanks um, but now I have to just learn to like this bag and use it because it's been sitting in my closet for years it used to come with like this like short strap that I cut off and it used to be like this shiny material you see it there um, it was really really short and it was hard to use so I used to have to like tuck it under my arm um, so I ended up chopping that off just cutting it off and putting this chain that I got at Michael's and um, oh my hair got caught huh. um, I do love it with the chain now well I don't love the bag I like it I don't like it I don't love it because of that bubble. It drives me insane. I notice it, nobody else does, but I do. Um, it's kind of small, it's hard. Like you have to put like a small wallet, I have a coach wallet, because I will not buy Burberry anymore. I'm the type of person that likes to match the wallet with the purse, but you know what? Not worth it. I don't like Burberry. I will never buy anything Burberry ever again. Um, but anyway, it's it's small. It comes with a little logo here. Um, have my shades, a little like coin purse from Coach as well that matches the wallet, and my keys. That's it, guys. Um, that's all this thing holds. But I'm gonna try and use it, wear it out, and then trash it. So thanks for watching. See you later.